Good day to everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about growth hormone agonists, specifically somatropine. Somatropine is the generic name of this drug with its brand names Nutropin, Cyzen, and Eumatrope. This drug is therapeutically classified as purified growth hormone. It is pharmacologically classified as an anterior pituitary hormone. The pregnancy category of this drug is pregnancy category C. Now, let us talk about the mechanism of action of this drug. It is therapeutically equivalent to endogenous growth hormone. It simulates skeletal or linear growth, growth of internal organs, protein synthesis, and many other metabolic processes required for normal growth. Human growth hormone binds to the growth hormone receptor. A binding human growth hormone causes dimerization of growth hormone receptor, activation of the growth hormone receptor associated GAK2 tyrosine kinase and tyrosyl phosphorylation of both GAK2 and growth hormone receptor. These events recruit and activate a variety of signaling molecules including MAP kinases, insulin receptor substrates, phosphatidylinositol 3 phosphate kinase, diacylglycerol protein kinase C, intracellular calcium, and stat transcription factors. These signaling molecules contribute to the growth hormone-induced changes in enzymatic activity, transport function, and gene expression that ultimately culminate in changes in growth and metabolism. At this point, let us talk about the pharmacokinetics of this drug. For the absorption, it is rapidly absorbed after intramuscular or subcutaneous administration. For the distribution, it crosses the placenta and it may enter breast milk. This drug is metabolized in the liver and is primarily excreted in the intestines through feces and urine. Sumatropine is indicated for the treatment of children with growth failure due to lack of growth hormone or to chronic renal failure, replacement of growth hormone in patients with growth hormone deficiency, long-term treatment of growth failure in children born small for gestational age who do not achieve catch-up growth by two years of age, treatment for short stature associated with Turner's syndrome, also approved to increase protein production and growth in various AIDS-related diseases. Sumatropine is contraindicated with any known allergy to the drug or ingredients in the drug to avoid hypersensitivity reactions. It is also contraindicated in the presence of closed epiphysis or with underlying cranial lesions because of the risk of serious complications. This drug is also contraindicated to patients who underwent abdominal surgery and acute illness secondary to complications of open heart surgery because of potential problems with healing. It should also be used with caution in pregnancy and lactation because of the potential adverse effects of the fetus. The following are the known side and adverse effects of the drug. Hypothyroidism, insulin resistance, development of antibodies to growth hormone, swelling, joint pain, muscle pain, carpal tunnel syndrome, increased growth of pre-existing nevi, headache, and injection site pain. Before the administration of somatropine, 
It is the responsibility of the nurse to assess history of allergy to any growth hormone or binder, presence of closed epiphysis or underlying cranial lesions, serious infection following open heart surgery, abdominal surgery, and pregnancy or lactation status to determine contraindication to the use of this drug. The nurse should also assess height, weight, thyroid function tests, glucose tolerance tests, and growth hormone levels to determine the baseline status before beginning therapy and for any potential adverse effects. The nursing diagnosis related to the application of this drug therapy include the following Imbalanced nutrition, less than body requirements related to metabolic changes, acute pain related to need for injections, and deficient knowledge regarding drug therapy. During the administration of the drug, it is the responsibility of the nurse to reconstitute the drug following the manufacturer's directions because individual products may vary. The nurse should administer the drug intramuscularly or subcutaneously for appropriate delivery of the drug. Monitor responses carefully when beginning therapy to allow appropriate dose adjustments as needed. Monitor thyroid function, glucose tolerance, and growth hormone levels periodically to monitor endocrine changes and to institute treatment as needed. Provide thorough patient teaching, including measures to take to avoid adverse effects, warning signs of problems, and the need for regular evaluation, including blood tests, to enhance patient knowledge about drug therapy and promote compliance. The nurse should instruct and teach a family member or caregiver that the drug is required to be refrigerated. The nurse should emphasize that the preparation of the drug or reconstitution procedure varies depending on the brand name product used. The nurse should include in his or her health teaching about the administration techniques of the drug, the sterile technique, the need to rotate injection sites, and the need to monitor the injection sites for signs of atrophy and extravasation. These are the nursing responsibilities after the administration of the drug. The nurse should monitor the patient response to the drug return of growth hormone levels to normal growth and development, monitor for adverse effects, evaluate the effectiveness of the teaching plan, such as patient can name the drug, dosage, adverse effects to watch out for, and specific measures to avoid them. The family member can demonstrate proper technique for preparation and administration of the drug. And lastly, monitor the effectiveness of comfort measures and compliance with the drug regimen. That will be all for this video. I hope that you have learned something out of our discussion. Thank you for watching.